hey guys it's me miss reaper and well today i've got another dungeon video um it is darkshade cavern one which you can see in the top corner somewhere up there you know just that area okay so yeah it's a pledge from like <laughs> two weeks ago maybe <laughs> shows how long i haven't been on the game properly yeah well coming up to like three weeks ago come on so yeah let's just uh get into it shall we so we've got the foreman the hive lord and the essential to kill within this dungeon as can you can tell from the pledge so yeah i've basically been saving the pledge just for this one video so it has been put on hold for weeks okay so, yeah, you know, I've been playing a different game on the PC, Final Fantasy. Yeah, and not many people are happy about that, you know, because they're like, well, I don't really see the logic. Final Fantasy is poop. And I'm like, actually, no, it's not. I said that because, you know, I didn't give it a chance, but then I've been on it for the past three weeks, nearly, and I found it's pretty damn good. So I, I've only been coming on to ESO to basically do my writs and my endeavours. So, and like the odd video as and when, you know, diving. But yeah, so yeah, let's uh, loot everything. Oh, that blood's online. Hmm. Okay, and I may be a little off because my fingers are in PC mode. Okay, I was on here last night, not really for long. Uh, you know, I did a few dailies, uh, but mostly I've just been on, you know, trying to get some motifs, sell some stuff, uh, getting ready for Bounties of Blackwood coming out at some point, uh, which is an event that's going to take place in the province of Blackwood. So yeah um there's going to be a new house which i have viewed and it's gorgeous and i really want it and you can look out onto north and elsewhere from there so yeah uh just Kill a bunch of ads, you know. I did actually record this video, but uh, something went wrong with the audio, so um, it didn't happen. You know, just nothing can be heard. Um, I then also lost everything that I'd recorded, so you know. Other videos have been delayed, uh, like World Bosses, which I did back in June. Yeah, and still haven't uploaded. Um, so the PC that I do like all my recordings on, all my editing, had an update. And yeah, just everything got deleted. Oh, and there's a heavy sack there too. You know, if I didn't say it, Batastine will surely say it in a moment. So, you can bash her to stop her from doing that healing thing. Like that. But yeah. Uh, there's, sometimes she'll just run into the wall and that really bothers me. Why would you do that? Just, just why? Luckily enough, she's on Bastion, and Bastion's actually a good tank now with his damage shield. 
Um, he rarely dies, as far as I've seen. Um, he dies a few times, though. With, like, say, the harder dungeons that I've been in. Okay. Right, where was that heavy sack? There. Okay. Oh, just a bit of wood. That's fine. But, um, as well, I have been wanting to transfer over to PC with ESO, but I've recently been told that's not available. And I'm just like, well, damn. But yeah, I've just said that, which makes my wishes and feelings now official on the internet. Yay. Um, but yeah, because I've been playing mainly on PC and my PC is just always on at the moment. Um, you know, it's really hard for me to actually just get the motivation to pick up my Xbox controller. You know. Okay. So there can sometimes be a chest underneath here. There isn't today. So we can just focus on killing these. I'll go for the mender first. Oh, I say that and there's like another mender over here. Okay. Let's do my thing. Also, if anyone's got any, you know, tips on how I can improve my mag sock, I am all for the suggestions. You know? So just kill these and then once all these are dead, he will spawn up. He is the first boss, as you can see from the pledge. Foreman Lorkin. Just Foreman, okay. Okay. So he will just walk down here. You can attack him when he's halfway up. Um, I've got no magicka, this is just sucking. Right, and then he'll run to like another side of the thing and spawn up some ads. You don't really have to deal with them if you don't think, you know, you're going to need to. But hey. I usually just set down one of these just to, you know, try and minimise how many there are. Ow. Oh, of course you can, Bastion. I think this is where Bastion may just die. That's fine. I've soloed this without a companion. You know, I've soloed this without any player help as well. In number two, I got up to the, uh, what's my call it? The transmuted squaws or something like that. Uh, alone, I just needed help with the uh, jellyfish looking thing. You see, I haven't been on here very much, so I've just forgotten like all the names, okay? I know, I need to like just. Ugh. I really want to say what I'm thinking looking at the chat, but I'm not going to, knowing that horsemen watch my videos. <laughs> so no, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking, even though I really want to. Uh, 
and you know I've calmed down from then so you know I'm not gonna start off any fights you know I've been on a different game and different platform to divert myself from conflict for one thing but yeah so he's now dead uh, you can sometimes get a chest here maybe even a heavy sack if you're lucky um, but yeah so that's the first boss done and as you can see he's now been removed from the quest line because he has been well killed okay so go all the way down here where you'll get a Kwama warrior and some workers Still with the workers first, since the warrior has just walked away. Okay, and yeah, these are just on normal. Okay, because they're easy enough for me just to, you know, run through. Tell you guys the basic mechanics, you know. Here's another chest spawn that can sometimes happen. Um, but yeah. Should probably do that. Okay, some more workers and a warrior. So fairly straightforward, you know. It's just normal ads. Also, you guys probably won't get as much XP as I'm getting, but I'm doing this because, well, I'm enlightened. Days of just grouped up, enlightened stuff from not being on as often. Yeah, I know. It's, it's horrible. I've abandoned ESO for nearly three weeks. Has the crisis been averted? No. No, it has not. But it's fine. But, you know, I'm not going to get into detail. Uh, me getting into detail is what got me into the bother in the first place last time. You know? Shut up, Bastion. Nobody asked for your opinion. You're just an Imperial. Okay, so here's the next boss. The Hive Lord. Okay. And he's got 1.5 million health. Simple enough. So did um, the Foreman. Oh, Endeavor complete. <laughs> Used my ultimate two times. Yay. Didn't even know that, that was an ult. Not an ult, that was an endeavour. Sometimes you don't even have to look at endeavours to know what the endeavours are. It just happens. Okay, and I'm just going to dance around casually. You know, because it's a solo, you got to keep on moving. You know? So yeah, he'll spawn in like the scribs, which you can take out. He's gonna die again. Oh, nope, he just healed. It's good. But yeah. But yeah. A lot has happened, you know, between videos. Just. I'll probably do an explanation video at some point. 
you know, explaining why I've been so distant from ESO. You know. I tried to record one the other day, but it sounded so corny. I just went, nope. Right. So over here, you can find a chest. And then I think over here, you can maybe find a heavy sack. But there's none. God, my fortune favours is not in me, is it? So we can kill these Betty Natchez, or Bull Natchez. There we go, that's the name of the jellyfish. Yep, Betty Natch. Oh. God damn it, babe. We don't care. We don't care that you're live on Twitch, babe. Go away. God damn it, that's going to be my video now. Thanks, babe. I love you so much. You God damn it. Okay. So first things first, there's your boss. But we'll take out all of the ads first, because otherwise this fight is just a pain in the buttocks. Okay, so we've got the stranglers down. Now we can get the elite down. You know? I think after I've done with today's recorded, I'm just going to jump on to Final Fantasy again. <laughs> My body earn well, eeks for uh, some er erosia. Right, so now we start on with this. So, just a normal Betty Natch, you know, just with harder punches, I guess. Or slaps. Like stay out of the green smoke. It's basically like poisoned gas. Bastion is not really going to listen to it. Come on. He's just an NPC. He doesn't know anything. But he's doing pretty well. Right, one more hit and down. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so there can sometimes be a chest here. There is not. Damn, there's like no chests this round, is there? Okay, so we can get these down. You know? Just some dwarven stuff in the way. Okay, so before I go on to killing the sentinel. We'll go and do this other boss over here. Okay. Which is on top of the stairs. Okay, the Dwarven Sphere. Okay. First off though, we'll take out all those. And as you can see, the Cutting Sphere. It's only, you know, just a small boss. But a boss nonetheless. Keep it going. You know? Just another 15% to go. But yeah. Okay. And I believe through here. This door won't open until the end, by the way. But there can sometimes be a chest here. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. So we will now go and, well, kill the big, big bad from this dungeon of Darkshade Cavern 1. Okay. So in order to do that, just, you know. The big bad is that big thing at the back. 
Okay. Just getting all the ads done. And this guy is 1.7 million health. Okay. Sounds easy, right? I mean, I'm just at one lonesome high elf with an imperial tank. God, if only it was an actual freaking tank. You know, the vehicles. Just blow the sting to smithereens within one hit. Now that sounds like fun. So watch out for his, you know, spinning tactic. Um, he will also shoot like missiles, which what just watch out for, you know, these things. Basically missiles. Yeah, he's also got like a DPS move with his Skyfall. Ah, yes. These things. Take those out. I'm pretty sure they like heal him off or something. You know. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure like A, they hurt us. B, they heal him up. I could be wrong. Okay. Oh, Bastion's dead. Of course he is. Why isn't he? He's not Mary. <laughs> Although Mary may have more pieces of armor. You know? And it's all purple. But a few, there's a few things I haven't yet got for them. You know, because I'm just waiting for all of the set all of the set pieces just to be purple. Because as soon as you equip them, they are bound to you and your companion. I'm also waiting for a high elf companion and marriage to be a option. You know, like you can do in Skyrim. See, I entered the Shrivering Isles for the first time ever as well, um, about three weeks ago. Just shows I haven't been in Tamriel really in three weeks. Just at all. Okay, so he's nearly dead. You know, just... There we go. Okay, and now you'll see that this guy's just run over to the door wanting to get in. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, and now we can kill him because, well, he's a bad guy. He was going to kill us anyway. Okay, so over here you can sometimes get a heavy sack and a chest just around here. But, hey, this run is just not liked me at all. Um, anyway, shall we show you the sets for this dungeon? Yes? No? Maybe so? So I've got the medium and heavy of the um, monster helms for number two. And then I've got majority of the armour of truth. Uh, the Netch's touch is nearly complete. And the strength of the automation is nearly complete as well. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay safe, stay soul driven and peace out.